The name is Brandon Gross. And we are the Game Changers. Designers, creatives alike. We are in a world that runs on value. Our next designs will be the shiniest. Our next animation will be the most buttery. Ladies and gentlemen, Game Changers, let the games begin. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Editor X Live with me, your host, Brandon Gross. I'm super excited to be with you guys today, and I want to say hello to all of you in the live chat. What's going on, Victor, and everybody else? And for those of you guys who will be re watching the replay hi to you all as well i hope you guys had an amazing weekend and i am super excited because today we're going to talk about a new feature which is using essentially section backgrounds using the scrolling feature for those backgrounds as well and you know doing a couple things with that we're going to do a little bit more than just background um section scrolling but you guys will see what we're working on i'm going to switch to my screen here today in just a second before we do that i just want to make sure you guys like this video subscribe and hit the bell notification just in case you guys want to uh join in with the cool things that we're going to be producing here on this channel today and in the future all right with that said let's move on to my screen what's going on kimberly marcella what is happening my friend glad to see you all right, so what we are working on today is uh, a couple of things. We have here a very, <laughs> it's what I called Papa Stank's coffee. Um, <laughs> but we are going to very simply create a page that has a background image or a background video throughout uh, multiple sections of a website. So we're seeing it not only in the menu, we're seeing it behind this section here. We're seeing it in this section here. And we also have some sticky assets here um, that kind of like converges in the next section. So with that said, uh, you guys can also download the assets for this project in the description down below. Actually, I'm gonna have to add that to the description because I did not uh, add that, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and add it into our chat really quick. I do need to add it into our description. That's something that I did not do in the beginning so i'm going to give it to you guys in the chat but for those of you guys who are watching the replay it'll be in the description when you're watching so give me a couple seconds here boom boom files a challenge number six i'm going to copy this and i'm going to send it to you all copy dropbox link and here we go <laughs> thank you kimberly where are the starter files <laughs> Here you go. And let me let me see if I can go ahead and edit this in the description as we're watching here. Here we go. Sweet. All right. So it should now be in the description as well. So you guys should be good to go. All right. So with that said, um, all you have to do is refresh the YouTube page and it should be down in the links below. It should be a Dropbox. So all we're going to do today is we're going to try to focus on some very basic things. Now, what this looks like is very weird in the actual Editor X browser. All I'm gonna do is kind of break down with you guys how I set this up. We're not gonna go through each and every detail of this. So with that said, let's go ahead and just begin. We're gonna create a new page here. I'm just gonna call this page V2 or home V2. And what we're going to go ahead and do and start off with and by the way let me go ahead and turn a couple things off on my computer okay all right so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm just going to take away the header we don't need this one just delete it and let's actually go to let's break down the home page as it is like the the current page so you guys can see how it's built because it's actually just one section so let's go to our layers and let's kind of diagnose. So we have one section and it's built out in, let's go to the grid so you guys can see how it's made. It's a three by five. And so we have one section purely for the menu, even though it's not a header, we're kind of uh, using this as if it's a landing page. If we wanted to, we could create a section for this, but you know, I, I wanted to do something a little, a little different. So we have a section purely for our menu here. We have a section purely for our PNG, um, uh, what's it gonna call it? 
our logo that we can see through to the background. And we have a section for our title here. We have a section purely for our coffee bag assets. And we have a section down here for, um, or rather, we have one section with many different grid, se uh, grid sets. So three rows, five columns, or excuse me, three columns, five rows. One, two, three, four, five. So what we're gonna go ahead and do in our new home page, V2, is we're gonna click on our section here and we're gonna make this pretty big to begin with. Um, actually, I'm gonna set it to, I'm gonna set the height to auto because what really what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this section, apply grid, and we're gonna do other. We're gonna do three rows or three columns, five rows, hit apply. And we are gonna just manually drag out this whole section here. And so first off, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna give basically, I'm gonna go to change grid layout, advanced mode. Ooh, I did not mean to delete it. And I'm just going to set each section. We're gonna start off just with the first two. First one, we're just gonna do 100 PX for our menu. In the next piece, we are just going to do 100 VH because that's our first main section. Okay, and let's just go ahead and get started there. So first off, what I do want to do is I want to go inside of our section. I'm gonna to go to our design and I'm gonna add a image or video. I'm gonna click coffee, or not click coffee, I'm gonna type coffee. And I'm gonna switch from images to video. Hey, what's going on JT? Glad to have you in the live chat. And I'm gonna pick these coffee beans just right here. Change background, and perfect. We have a full video in our background. Now all we have to do is just add what it is that we want um, on top of all of this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna quick add a image here. Span this across all three of our rows, expand. Perfect. I'm gonna change this image to our PNG here. And so far, so good. This is kind of what we have if we preview it. So we have our video playing in the background. We have our image over top. And that's really the beginning. Up next, I'm not gonna go ahead and design the entire menu. All I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go to my previous home here. And I'm just gonna steal this entire container for now. If you guys are curious how the uh, container or the, the menu was made, we can go into it but uh, I think it's pretty simple and I wanna kinda get into the other more important pieces. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this element here. Paste and I'm gonna bring it up into our first section grid and I'm going to center it just like that. All right, now let's work on this, these other pieces. I do want to, we have a full section where the coffee background is basically just playing we have three assets right here, one, two, three, and we have a title. So our next title, we're gonna just place this right here. And again, to save kind of some time here, what I wanna do is I want to go to, again, my homepage, bah, 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 and I am going to steal, I kinda wanna steal two things. I'm gonna steal uh, both of these things, copy, Go back to my home, V2, and I'm gonna paste them right in here. Perfect. And I'm gonna take them one at a time. Whoops, do not wanna apply a grid. So I'm gonna take my title, I'm gonna place it right in here. And let me know if you guys have any questions regarding, uh, you know, why I basically gridded up all of the well, I gridded up one section many times. If you guys have questions about that and why I did that, um, feel free to ask. But uh, you guys will pretty much see why in just a moment. So I'm gonna go to advanced mode. I'm gonna edit our, our grid one more time. 
I'm going to edit this section right here because this is where we are going to put all of our basically pill shaped assets. So I'm going to go ahead and for right now just 500 pixels. Hit done. I'm going to grab our container here with our images. I'm going to pull that in just to the right size that I want. And now I'm going to duplicate and make two more of these, but I want this to be in the center of our gridded section and at the top. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to bring this to the center. So center, and I want this horizontal aligned. Hey, what's going on, Lorraine? Long time no see. I'm glad you are here yet again for another challenge. How have you been? And I'm going to duplicate this one more time and center align and make sure it's aligned to the bottom of the grid. So we kind of have like a, a cascaded sort of effect. Okay. So now kind of what we're looking at when we preview this, it's nothing special, but we have so far ba a basic scrolling website. All right. We, you know, the background of the, uh, you know, the video is pretty much staying where it needs to be, but we kind of want a little bit of a different effect. So I am going to go to, I'm going to click my section and I'm going to click this background scroll effect right here. And I'm just going to select parallax. There's other ones that you guys can use as well as you want to experiment with this. And now I do want to preface this. You can use parallax in reveal very easily and well, you can use them all easily. But what I want to preface is that your section background is uh, one of the editor X teams were showing me this earlier because I was trying to use some of these other ones in here, but some of the effects do not work unless you have a section. I'll, I'll actually, I'll show you and I'll see if we can, um, we can uh, uh, figure that out together. But some of the, what's it call it? Some of the proj or some of the, how do I say? Some of the effects don't work unless you have a longer page. That's what I'm trying to say. So now I have a background that is somewhat moving or really staying put as the content around it is moving. And for those of you who are wondering why these are um, basically having a sticky effect is because they do. I copied and pasted them over in here and they have the uh, sticky position type. Now I'll show you what it looks like when it's just on default. It's not going to look how we want to, but before we take a peek at that, I do want to add in, um, basically I'm going to add in again, guys, just to save time because the way, or really what I think is important for us to understand today is way more important than showing you kind of how, like how this was made. We can talk about it. And if you guys have particular questions, definitely ask me in the chat, but there's more important things that I want to point out that you might have challenges with versus showing you how to build it, which is gonna take a little bit longer. All right. So let me go back to home V2. I am going to click on my section. I am going to change grid layout advanced mode because what we're going to do here is we're going to click into this last little section here and we are going to put 50 vertical height and we're going to go ahead and press done. All right. So I'm going to paste control V. Where's the content that we just pulled over? I'm going to grab this container, copy, go back to home V2, paste. All right. It does not want to come in there. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this stack three dots. I'm going to let's do ba -ba -ba, save as asset coffee title. And I'm glad to hear you're doing great, Lorraine. And I'm going to add this just to create new library, coffee site. All right, let's go back to our home V2. 
And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to quick add a container. I'm going to scale this across the entire bottom gridded section, expand that, and I'm going to change the background to our nice little roasted color here. From there, I'm going to go to my plus. I'm going to go to my assets. I'm going to go to coffee site. And I am going to pull in this content here. I'm going to squeeze this to the size that I want and place this inside of our container. Now, our container does not have a grid, so we're going to need to make one. We're going to apply a grid, and we want a three by one grid for our container here. So now I'm going to place the content both horizontally um, and vertically centered. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to just do the same thing across all these grids here. And if you guys want to know the fonts that I am using, I am using both Montserrat and... I believe this is, um, if you guys have the Adobe XD file, you guys will see it. But it is Yellowtail, I believe. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a quick preview, see what's happening here. All right. So we're kind of at a good spot. So if what you guys see here, this is a layer thing. So right now what we have is we have a container that is in the same section as everything else. Now, what we want to do is we want these, this content on top of that section or on top of that container. So we're going to go back to edit site. We're going to go to our layers, open up our section, and we're going to select our container here. We're going to name it. We're going to call it, uh, we'll call it footer for right now, even though it's not really the footer. And we're going to find the container our three little image containers we're going to call this just one we're going to call this one two because now we're going to do somewhat of a layer uh, cleanup here three okay and we're going to make sure oops i feel like i just pushed something out of somewhere Our footer, we want below basically everything. All right, so let's check this out. And what is this? That's our one. What is this one? Ah, this is, okay. This shouldn't be called one. This should be called menu container. And where is our three? call this three and we'll grab this why are the names keep getting messed up let me refresh here guys because I'm like naming stuff and then other things are getting named all right let's go back to our home Let's go to our layers. All right, three, two, one, perfect. Yamatha, what's going on? How you doing, my friend? Glad to have you in the chat. We are currently working on background image, or in this case, background videos, and using a parallax, a built-in parallax effect, and uh, basically just creating a, a coffee website with it. So let's kind of look where we are. Let's see, boom, boom. Okay, so now we have our images on top of our, um, on top of the brown container that we have here. However, it is too much. <laughs> As you guys can see, we have an overlap that we don't want. But this is kind of where things get really iffy. What's going on, Lakshita? Let's see. Now, there's one thing that I want to show you guys that is not intuitive. I'm going to make this our homepage. And I'm going to publish it. 
because what we see in the browser or in this preview is not what happens really in the live okay this overlap this does not happen or for example if we go here right we kind of want this container to be halfway um, of our assets basically like a 50 50 and so let me go ahead and let me go back to edit site let's pop this open and let's see what it's actually doing all right so we have a little bit of overlap here now this is kind of where our designer powers really need to come in or not just design powers but really how do i say the trial and error if that makes sense so we always need to make sure yes that things in the preview mode of our uh, editor x look okay but we also need to publish the site see what it's doing and make sure that we're happy with the actual published site and if there's things wrong with the published site that basically tells us there are things that we need to um, change uh, in terms of our what is the word that I'm looking for our responsive behavior for the assets in our website so with that said what I am going to do is because this content was running in with our image assets over here we are going to select all my stacks of content here and we're just gonna push this down I'm holding shift using my arrow keys pushing this all the way down to give space for when these content pieces or these containers collide with this container so let's go ahead and not preview because the preview is not going to be accurate we're going to do publish we're going to view the site and let's go ahead and scroll see what happens all right we still have a little bit of overlay now this is something that um, there's a couple other things that I do want to show you guys before we get into this container thing here if you guys notice all of this content the title these assets these three assets here they are basically sticking to the top of this uh, this area here one reason that's happening is because one it's sticky but there's another thing that we've never gone over before and it is this top overset so what this says here is hey make sure that this content is sticky I'll show you what happens when it's everything is just zero so I'm gonna set this to zero I'm gonna set this to zero zero and zero let's go ahead and preview here this preview will be correct but if everything is 100% uh, zero you guys can see that all of the content will stick to literally the main top of uh, the section we don't want that we want there to be like a little bit of space so how we're gonna go ahead and fix that on top of me fixing my arm <laughs> is we're gonna go to edit site and we're gonna tell this hey we want this to be sticky at the top of the uh, section but we also want some space between the asset and the top of that section it's sticky to so we're gonna give this 25 pixels offset from the top and these other assets 150 but for those in the live chat how are you guys doing how are you feeling with this content are you understanding are you lost what's happening how are we feeling we're gonna publish this and now what we need to do let's go ahead and go to let's close these out really quick and I'm gonna go to my original home page Oh, that's the old old one because I do want to see how I built this in particular let's check this out we're gonna go to change grid let nope we're gonna click on our section change grid layout advanced so I set this to 43 VH basically around 50 so let's go ahead and go back to let's click done 
go back to our V2. And we are gonna go ahead and do, this should be the 50% or the 50 VH. So grid layout, advanced mode. All right, we have the 50 VH. But I wonder, let's go ahead and let's click this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, well, what fixed that? <laughs> I honestly have no idea uh, uh, how we, we fix that. But essentially what is important guys with this, especially when I don't know why this doesn't work 100% inside of the uh, browser preview. Cause if we preview it in here, it looks funky. There is overlay. I have no idea why it's doing this, but maybe it's because it's not 100% uh, like the vertical height of my, you know, of my, uh, of my viewport. It's, it, it's kind of fake. Like the website kind of ends here. Maybe that's what it is. I couldn't really figure out why that happened or happens, but with the actual website, you know, this, this is how it works. And so some of you guys might ask, well, Brandon, why did you do one whole section to create multiple, um, multiple sections of a website, uh, rather than doing, you know, one sec, one true section, creating another blank section and making things here and using a different background. And then, you know, having this whole thing here, uh, this brown background be another section that you use. The reason is because things get, you know, really, it's much easier if I use one section, one background, multiple grids, and that way everything that I put within it is just going to overlay on the background. And for instance, like this sort of effect, I would not be able to make with multiple different sections. And it becomes a lot easier when we start doing, uh, you know, what is the term? When we start going responsive and we need to move some of these things, right? We can't really do a 50-50 of uh, uh, the same background and a different background using two sections. It gets really weird. Lorraine, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if, uh, <laughs> That is sarcasm, whether it is you're actually lost or not lost. But if you guys are lost, this is the perfect time to ask questions so that you guys can, that we can kind of go over things. Basically, I just wanted to showcase to you guys how we can have a full landing page using one section, one background, and how we can have multiple things on top of that one background and make it kind of complex. So uh, while you guys are thinking of your questions, in the meantime, let's go ahead and check out some of our submissions from Friday of our challenges, which were multi-state boxes. So we have Kimberly, and we have Gabriel. So let's check these out. So Kimberly, we have these beautiful cards and I love that you have these pluses here. We have a nice little hover effect on them as well. If you click them, there's a different card change, beautiful. I definitely would say, cause I remember we had this little bit of a challenge also on uh, Friday ourselves. I would definitely make sure that the state that you are working on also has, I think like the card is stretched down here. That's why we don't see those rounded um, uh, edges, but make def definitely make sure to check out to make sure that both states are the same height that you want. And that, uh, cause I was running into this issue as well. I don't know exactly what causes that, but I think it could be one of two things. One, it could be the height that you're using. And two, it could be that you have your, uh, this, whatever container this is, you might have it on um, hide overflow because you can see we have a little bit of a cutoff here. I can hover and I can see all the, the, the full corner of the bottom, but when it's on its default state, we have like a line here. So definitely would check that out. If you were struggling with that, <laughs> you now have your answer. All right. And then we have Gabriel. Let's see. Show my money. Very nice. Very cool. Very easy, very nice card. I, I, is this, 
Gabriel, I have to ask, is this a logo of yours or is this like a music person you guys listen to? Because he's been in a lot of your guys' projects. <laughs> so with that said, ladies and gentlemen, our final outcome of this project is a nice clean one video section with multiple assets on top and a pretty nice sticky asset sort of effect here. I'll add this project inside of our challenge here. And when you guys are done with your challenges, you guys do not need to use the assets we have created. I just wanna see what you guys create with the background section and scrolling effects. <laughs> Victor says it is, it is our logo. Very nice, my friend. All right, we have number six. And my name is Brandon Gross. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do want you guys to know that what we have created here is literally for desktop only. Do not scream at me in the Discord or <laughs> in general when you're like, Brandon, why isn't this working on tablet or mobile? I highly recommend that you guys come and join us during our responsive webinars or our live stream so we can actually um, go over you know what actually how to actually take a a website from uh desktop all the way over to tablet and mobile so with that being said uh, i am going to just type in desktop only here now i did see a question in the chat here any solutions on how we can make the buttons responsive on different screen sizes i struggle when we use it on multi-state boxes. Ah, I got your question. No worries, my friend. So what I'm gonna do right after this is I am going to jump into Discord. I remember your question. I had some other things to do this morning, but I got you, I remember you, and uh, I will answer that for you with your own video. So with that said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to, hold on. Lorraine is saying it makes sense to use one section to have one background image for the long section. Awesome. Brandon, we will do a live doing your challenge. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. All right, guys. So with that said, I think I do have the majority of your questions. But if you have more, and specifically, um, Lakshita, I have your answer. I'll be in Discord in just a second with a recorded video specifically for you. But uh, other than that, thank you guys for hanging out during this live stream. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I'll see you in Discord, and I will see you in another video tomorrow and on the next day doing some more edit cool editor x stuff so with that said take it easy have a great day peace